Hello, my name's Steve. Um, I've been selling some things on eBay for a while now, and I thought I'd share with you some of the board games that I've got up for sale. Um, starting with uh, this uh, Scrabble Dice. Um, this is a game that I've owned for a number of years and not really played it, to be honest. Um, so most of the stuff is still there. It's it's um, got a, a pencil. Um, probably been sharpened maybe once. Um, uh, an almost full set of score pads. Um, and with the set then, uh, you've got a timer, a little egg timer. Um, and a set of Scrabble dice in a handy shaker. Um, so basically, it's a variation of, on Scrabble. It's, it's a word game. Um, not up for an awful lot of money. I've put that up for three pound ninety nine plus postage and packing. Um, there are a lot of them listed on eBay. Um, so. I'm not particularly optimistic that it will um, sell, but if, if if it does, that's great. It's in pretty good condition. Um, I've owned it for 25 years, maybe. Um, hardly played with, so 3 99 not bad, I don't think. Now, this uh, is something that I picked up. Excuse me. Technical problems with the start again. Hello, my name's Steve. I've been selling things on eBay for a little while now, and I thought I'd share with you some of the uh, board games that I've got up for sale. Um, starting with this little thing, Scrabble Dice. Um, I have this listed for £3.99 plus postage and packing. Uh, quite a lot of them listed on eBay, so not sure that it'll sell very quickly. Um, but there it is, £3.99 is in good condition. I've had it for about 20, 25 years, not played with it much. So um, there's a, a pencil that's still pretty much its original pencil length. Um, I've got an almost complete set of scorecards and inside here as well there's a timer um, and a set of uh, scrabble dice with a shaker so they're in there shall not pull them out a bit fiddly to get them back in again um, but that's that's up to 3.99 um, so that's probably the uh, that's the lowest priced item that i've got up uh, in terms of board games uh, next thing I thought I'd show you is this uh, Monopoly game. Um, now, I bought this for a couple of quid and I thought, uh, actually, it's in such good condition. Box is a little bit, a little bit worn, but not too much. Um, there are no splits on the corners or anything. In pretty good condition. When I opened it up, um, which as you can see is not that easy. When I opened it up, I found really um, something that is pretty much in unused condition. So we've got your quarter fold um, board here. Uh, that's in perfect condition. Um, it is the deluxe version. Now, to be honest, the, the, the versions of Monopoly you get out today are probably pretty much on, on a par with this. But when this first came out in the 1980s, it was quite a thing, I think. Um, and uh, what you'll find is that inside there is a carousel for holding the money. Uh, there are compartments for cards. Sorry, the, the carousels for the cards, the compartments for the money. Um, the, the only thing that I was a bit dubious about was that these notes, although I don't think they've been particularly used, uh, they are a little bit curled because um, when I got it, they were um, being stored with elastic bands and the elastic bands obviously were um, curling up the the notes, which is a bit unfortunate, but there you go. I think they will straighten out. I don't think there's, there's much of a problem. 
everything else is there. So we've got these little gold pieces, so a little bit of luxury. Uh, uh, black dice instead of, I think at the time there would have been red dice in the standard set. Um, and really nice um, wooden houses and hotels. And in fact, you see this hotel is uh, an unopened pack. So I really don't think this has been used at all. Um, I've had it up for a while. I, I, I listed it originally with a, a rather optimistic price of um, uh, £30 a thing, but I brought it down to £14.99. don't really want to go much lower than that. I think it's worth it. Um, and hopefully somebody will buy it for that price. Uh, but there you go. Deluxe Monopoly. Have a look. Um, next thing I want to show you is another Monopoly set. Now, uh, this is a Chelsea version, Chelsea Football Club version of Monopoly. Now, anybody who knows me will tell you that uh, I know nothing about football. Um, I know even less about Chelsea. I think they're from London. Yeah, probably. Um, what I have found out is that this... This version of the Chelsea Monopoly, which, which is licensed by the club itself, so it's, it's an official kind of um, souvenir, official merchandise item from Chelsea, uh, it dates back to 2011. So obviously the, um, the players represented on the cards, um, well, most of them, if not all of them, will have been retired by now. Um, so it's not a current version. Um, if you're familiar with these um, football games at all, you will probably be aware um, that instead of um, instead of properties, uh, the streets of, of London that you get in the normal version, um, you've got players up for sale. Um, and instead of houses, uh, you have stands. Um, and instead of instead of hotels, you've got stadiums, uh, and these are in a nice, neat little bag here. Let's just see if I can pull them out just to to give you a, a, a quick look at them. Um, so you've got these stands, which are these little white little doodads, um, and the stadiums, which are blue. So white and blue. That's Chelsea's colours, I think. As I say, I don't know anything about football. I'm sure that must be the case. Um, I've got this listed now for nine ninety nine. Um, I'm willing to take offers on it. Um, I, as you can imagine, I didn't buy it for myself. I did buy it with the prospect of reselling it for, for a couple of quid. I've got it up for nine ninety nine. Probably take a little bit less than that. So if you're interested, have a look. Um, Right, what else have we got now? This one I do like. Um, Doctor Who, Battle for the Universe. Um, now this is um, this is an official BBC game that comes from the latter era of the original series. So around about the sort of um, Sylvester McCoy um, time, I suppose. Maybe the Peter D Davison, Colin Baker kind of era. But the interesting thing about it, that when you get into uh, the game itself, um, there's a board here. It's, that's the board, a little bit sparse looking. Um, not sure that's the best design in the world, but um, that, that's what it is. What's the really nice thing with this is the set of cards that come with it, which are nice little illustrations. The interesting thing that is that the, the character that they call the Doctor is not one of the recognisable doctors that we know from either the original period or obviously the modern period. So the only thing I can surmise, surmise is that he must be one of those 10 million billion doctors that now exist um, pre-William Hartnell or between Patrick Troughton and John Pertwee or wherever the hell it is they're supposed to be. Um, but that's the Doctor. Uh, he's got a set of companions. Now, the companions are Tegan, who looks nothing like Janet Fielding, I have to say. Um, there's Ace, who again, 
bears little resemblance to Sophie Aldred. Romana and K9. Um, K9, of course, is from the Tom Baker era, so maybe a little bit preceding uh, this actual game. Um, and then there are cards representing the villains. So we've we've got the Master, uh, we've got Morbius, who is from that terrific Tom Baker story, The Brain of Morbius, which is a, a fantastic serial. I really recommend that one. Uh, we've got Barusa who again is um, one of the renegade Time Lords um, in opposition to the Doctor. Um, Omega, again another Time Lord, um, and the Rani, uh, who was played I think by Kato Mara, if, I'm, if I thought that right. Then we've got the Dalek characters, so we've got a number of Daleks. We've got Daleks 1 to, um, one to 4, basically. And of course, they are led by their creator, Davros. Uh, so those are familiar characters. Uh, then we've got some Cybermen, uh, four Cybermen and a Cyber Controller. Um, and then we've got uh, Marshman 1 and Marshman 2. I don't remember Marshman. I can't, I can't remember for the life of me where that's from or whether it was actually in the, the series at all. Um, and then we've got three mutant cards, who could be anyone. Um, and one of my favourites, the Ice Warriors. So we've got three Ice Warriors. Uh, we've got the Black Guardian. We've got Lynx, again, a great character. We've got Shokai and Garon or Garon. So um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit of a original era Doctor Who fan. Um, but I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't claim to be uh, a particularly expert on it. Um, but here it is, it's a nice game um, for a collector really, somebody who's really into the Who universe. Uh, I've got that up for £6.99 for this P&P. Um, again, I don't want to go much cheaper than that. Uh, there are quite a few listed on eBay. Uh, if it doesn't sell, I get to keep it. So that's fine. It's a win-win situation, isn't it, Rick? Um, next thing is uh, Careers. Uh, now, this is a board game that I bought quite a number of years ago. I have no idea what I paid for it. It could have been anything. Um, it was at a time when I quite liked the idea of playing board games. I don't do it much these days. Um, this is hardly played with. It's in excellent condition. Um, everything is worth is, is basically un, untouched. Uh, the the board is in excellent condition, um, and all the pieces are there. Uh, and again, I got this up for six pounds ninety nine. Um, that's the contents of the box there. I cannot, for the life of me, remember how this game is played. But it's all about, I think, um, balancing up whether your career is going to be uh, for money, for fame, or for personal satisfaction. I think that, that's that's the sort of selling point of the game. Um, if you're interested in that, £6.99 plus PMP. Uh, I don't think they make this anymore, so um, you know it's a bit of a collector's item. Many different versions of this over the years. So this would be a 1980s one, I think. The last one I want to show you is uh, Risk. Now, uh, this is uh, still a very popular game. Many versions of these have come out over the years. Uh, this is one that I bought about 20, 25 years ago. It's a 1980s, 1990 version. Uh, I bought it in a toy shop in South Wales. Um, I paid five pounds for it, I think, which was it was on offer at the time. Uh, and I want I want to say that this was, um, you know, complete. It's certainly in good condition. Everything's fine with it. Uh, there's uh, the the board is is in good condition. All the pieces are there. Um, we've got uh, the dice are there. There's a full set of cards. So I've checked all those. Everything was there. Um, and then I got to looking at these little pieces um, because 
just to, just to explain what these are, these these represent the armies that you play. So you've got this little three pronged uh, jobby here that represents one army. Uh, then you've got a four pronged one that represents five armies, um, and then you've got this uh, five pronged one. So four pronged, five pronged. This one represents ten armies. So one army, five armies, ten armies. What I noticed looking through these um, these little boxes, uh, which are quite neat, you know, they really back up excellent quality um, design for the for the game there. But I noticed that it didn't quite look as if they were all the same, so I counted them all. And there's a different number of pieces in each box, um, so I. I can't for the life of me think of any time that uh, I would have lost any of these. Um, so I can only think that it came like that. The book is not at all specific about how many armies you should have. Uh, so I think it is complete, I'm not sure. Um, it's never affected gameplay whatsoever. Um, and it's a nice addition. So I have got this up for sale for £14.99 plus p, p I know they go for around that. I think people sell them for uh, up to between £15 and £20. Um, so have a look at it. Well, that's it for now. Um, I've got other things that I'm selling on eBay, and I'll, I'll share some of those with you, uh, hopefully, over the coming weeks. Um, and we'll see how it goes. See you next time, hopefully. Bye.